guys, get up for Dylan Mahler, guys. He almost didn't make it tonight, uh, you know, because he was, uh, excuse me? <laughs> trying to tell you something. <laughs> now, Dylan almost didn't make it tonight because uh, he couldn't stop listening to Lose Yourself by Eminem on repeat before the roast. Uh, do not miss your chance to blow. <laughs> Dude, I'm glad he's here though. Comedy's opened up a lot of doors for Dylan, you know, to work security at, so I'm glad he's here. Uh, thank you, Courtney, for making it here from the Bob's Burgers universe. We appreciate it. <laughs> Bob's Burgers looking ass. <laughs> you, if I can't have her, no one will look at us. <laughs> Courtney looks like she suffers from OCD and BLM. <laughs> it's true. Like she loves black guys, but they remind her to lock that door. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good joke. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Dylan, uh, I feel like Dylan dresses like a Build-A-Bear thug. <laughs> you know, like one of those stupid ass outfits. Where'd you get your hat from, Navy Pier? <laughs> this, guy looks, this guy looks like he coaches Little League gambling. <laughs> From a gas station. <laughs> uh, Courtney looks like she listens to NPR. But upstairs, it's just radio the movie. It's about a retarded. Okay. That one didn't work. Oh, yeah. Mark that. Dude, now I feel bad. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, Dylan. Uh, Dylan obviously wants to be a black guy, but all he's managed to do is talk like the one from the Green Mile. <laughs> you look like you look like uh, Martin Lawrence in the white remake of Bad Boys. <laughs> Courtney loves reality tech TV, uh, Bachelorette, but if she was on a dating show, it'd have to be one lucky girl and 20 lucky, unlucky black guys. Uh, this summer, don't miss ABC's The Shoddy. <laughs> Same thing. That would actually hurt a little bit. <laughs> uh, Dylan's got a cauliflower ear. Oh. Be Dylan. It's not from wrestling, though. It's from um, him calling the suicide hotline too many times. <laughs> Depressed ass. Personality brought to you by Grandma's Medicine Cabinet. <laughs> I well, actually work for the suicide hotline. So <laughs> oh. Sometimes they ask me if I'm okay. <laughs> so back to the list. <laughs> uh, Courtney looks like the teacher who touched me. <laughs> Apparently, there's no such thing as a sex ed tutor. <laughs> I didn't mean, know. Uh... Damn it, that's so good, dude. <laughs> Damn. I did find out that Dylan just got uh, two kittens recently, which is nice. Good for him, he got two kittens. I feel like he plays with them like this. <laughs> Why kitty no move? <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Don't talk about my cats like that. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney.
Courtney's dad lives in a van in Alaska, <laughs> which true. is the farthest place you can drive from Illinois in this country. He wasn't worried about the weather or just anything to get away from Courtney's personality. <laughs> Yikes. You look like you're cosplaying someone who has one. <laughs> okay. Dylan is uh, the first AI generated douchebag. <laughs> I feel like if he could uh, do it, he, you, I feel like uh, you're just one step away from a chin strap beard. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Running out of shit now. <laughs> Courtney looks like she hawked to it before it was cool. <laughs> Still swallows, folks. So. Oh, yeah, dude. Last joke. Uh, Dylan is like, uh,. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Dylan's like Forrest Gump if uh, all that running led him to the Capitol on January 6th. Uh. <laughs> they say one man's trash. <laughs> is another man's treasure. With Courtney's past, she must be like 200 man's treasures. <laughs> Give it up for them, everybody. Oh, my God. Wow. Very cool. I am going to have to take Dylan to see the rabbits later, but I didn't want it to end this way, but it must be done. Now, I don't want you to kill Courtney on that farm. Now, Emily, what did you think uh, about this uh, molasses race? I thought it was gonna be better than that. <laughs> Waiting all night for this. No, we had a, the school fucking teacher joke was hilarious as fuck. That's when I was really like, hell yeah, you know? <laughs> but then the way Courtney just had to keep looking over his shoulder to make sure he's telling his jokes right now. I was like, hey, what's going on here? Uh, <laughs> maybe they are fucking, you know? <laughs> And her husband is my best friend, so I better be taking some more notes than this shit. But if you see my card, not like that. Like I said, don't bullshit. I got three to two and three going to court all day. Okay, Courtney with one. Give it up for Courtney. Yes. Very good. Steph. Yes. Uh, Dylan, why are you buffering in real life? What is that? <laughs> what is that, Dylan? You had really good jokes, but I think the delivery kind of fell flat. I mean, Bob's Burgers was so funny up top. The BLM locked doors, that was a great fucking joke, okay? I, like, I don't know if anyone heard it, but, <laughs> but it, was, it was such a dog, I'm not gonna tell it. But uh, yeah, no, Courtney, great job. Courtney, you look like the mom who lets your kids drink in the home. And, and Dylan, you look like her kid that drinks. <laughs> Um, but of course I'm giving it to Courtney. Great job, Courtney. Courtney wins it. Give it up for Courtney. Yes. But I want final thoughts from Leah. Ah, uh, final thoughts. Uh, let's see. You are, you're very mild-mannered. Uh, I don't know. It's like you're, you're wearing what he sounds like, and he's wearing what you sound like. I don't even fucking know what that means. Dude, you did have a couple really great jokes in there, but I think Courtney won it, too, so. Courtney wins it, but give it up for both of these two. Get up here, being hilarious, amazing. Guys, that's been Rose Battle Chicago. How the fuck are we feeling, huh? Thank you so much for coming out, man. Hey. Hello, Courtney Albers, uh, the headlining and winner of tonight's Rose Battle. How are we feeling about tonight? And uh, you usually, I feel like, have roasted uh, very uh, quick, deliveries um, as your your opponents have been very quick and very fun and very high energy. Like you had Ryder, um, which Ryder Ollie is crazy high energy. And tonight you had Dylan Mahler who had great jokes, but low energy. How did it feel roasting him in comparison to others? Uh, I don't know. I just, I felt like I really started to appreciate what CTE does to people. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. 
No, it was great roasting him. I don't know. I think he's awesome, and we had a good time. But yeah. you guys both did so good. It was a great battle to end the night with. Uh, thanks so much. We'll see you very soon. Yeah.